It's big, it's highly ambitious, and if time and money mean business, modern China has both. Hi everybody, I'm Tim Cole, reporting for AvWeb from Xi'an, China, one of the principal industrial zones that will guide the growth of general aviation in this sprawling country. We're attending the China International General Aviation Convention to learn about the promise and the challenge of general aviation in this rapidly developing society. We're hearing a lot about restrictions and limitations that have long been abundantly clear, tight control of China's low-altitude airspace, stringent GA and commercial separation standards, long delays in flight planning and clearance delivery. Those are some of the obvious pitfalls, but what are the possibilities? We learned about GA's promise from an unlikely source, a large delegation of German GA engineers and planners who made the trek to Xi'an to cement cooperation between the Eurozone and China. Their systematic approach to airport development deserves notice. Doing since about 20 years uh, airport business, uh, planning of airports, um, certification of airports, um, doing expert reports on like capacity studies or prognosis or whatever. And besides this, uh, we are operating two flight simulators. Uh, well, uh, you see, uh, no airport is like uh, another airport. Um, you have to look uh, exactly where you uh, want to build an airport, which um, situation you find there. Um, and therefore, we um, uh, had this uh, Shiraz system, which um, gives the uh, future airport operator um, some modules where he can pick off um, and um, find exactly the modules which he needs. So the first module deals um, with the airport planning itself, um, uh, which means um, the airport uh, planning uh, the, the air side, um, the land side, uh, the navigational structure and so on. Uh, the second one deals with uh, the surrounding um, studies uh, which will which you need uh, for an airport these may be uh, capacity studies or demand studies or what else and the third uh, module uh, deals with the um, uh, the managing factors for teaching people running an airport uh, doing business um, the the uh, operational stuff at an airport and so on um, each of the modules go um, deeper um, have some sub-modules, um, for instance the airport planning module um, looks what kind of airport do you want to have? Um, is it a greenfield airport where nothing is, uh, just uh, just road f filling to nowhere? Um, or do you have a, 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 a common use airport, um, so um, for normal civil aircraft and uh, general aviation as well? And the third uh, sub-module is, um, or the, the third uh, possibility is that you have a um, future, uh, former um, military airport. Uh, that now, there you have uh, all the um, runways and taxiways and so on. Um, you don't have to build it. Uh, you can use it. It makes it even cheaper. So these are the different sub-modules. There are some more and um, then you can choose which model you do want. Reporting from Xi'an, China, I'm Tim Cole for avweb.com. Thanks for watching.